Hey there, and thanks for your help and interest in translating Ghost. This is a quick tutorial that will allow anyone to translate strings for portal and member flows in Ghost into a different language. There are no prerequisites, you don't need to know how to code, um, as long as you can follow a guide and click some buttons on a screen in the same way that I do, um, you should be able to do this. So, let's dig in. Lots of people using Ghost publish in languages other than English, and that's already possible. You can write in whatever language you want inside the post editor, and you can set your publication language in settings general, and that supports most um, locales and language codes. And the only thing that does is tell the front end of your website what language um, you're writing in. But what it doesn't do is power any sort of translations for your members area. So for mem member accounts, there's a lot of copy and writing for navigating around an account, signing up, having a login email, uh, all of which remains in English, regardless of which language your publication is set to. So with this new translation system, if we come down to settings and visit the labs section, and then enable the portal translations beta, we'll see that that now does get applied. So if we refresh this, open the account page, now we have German, um, and that is picking up most uh, of the strings, but not all of them. And the reason it's not all of them is because some translations are still in progress. Uh, we don't have translations for every language yet, and uh, there's still a bit of work to do here. So that's what we're aiming for, and that's what we want to achieve, and this is where you come in. So the first thing we're going to do is sign up for an account on github.com. If you already have a github.com account, obviously you don't need to do this. You can just go and sign in and you'll skip this step entirely. But if you haven't got a GitHub account, you can go to github.com, go through the sign up flow, and uh, you'll get everything started pretty easily. There's a handful of questions you have to ask. You will input an email address, do a capture, copy the email uh, code that they send to you and then fill out some of the onboarding survey. So how many team members, it's just you. We can skip all of the community stuff. And uh, we just want a free account. You don't need a paid account for this. And after this glorious animation, it'll be a little bit of a loading step. And now we are inside a brand new GitHub account. Next thing we're gonna to need to do is search for the ghost repository. So just type in ghost, press enter. And the first result, hopefully, should be the ghost repository. So having found the ghost repository, the first thing we're going to do is click on the fork button. Forking is making a copy of a code repository uh, of your own that you can edit. So we'll just press create fork and then wait a couple of seconds for GitHub to make a copy of the core ghost repository into our own GitHub user account. With that done, all this code is now editable. The only thing you have to do is push the full stop or period key on your keyboard. So now we're inside a web version of the VS Code editor. If you've never used it before, don't worry. It looks complicated, but it's fairly straightforward to get around. So first thing we can do is close this preview tab. We won't be needing that. Now we'll just look for the translation files. So we'll go inside the ghost folder, scroll down and look for I18N, which stands for internationalization. And inside the locales folder, we have all of our translation files. So for translating strings, the first thing we'll do is copy the English folder. So right click on it, press copy, then right click on the locales folder and press paste. So now we have a copy of the English strings. We'll rename that to the language code or the locale code for the translation that we're going to do. Uh, in this case, we'll simulate doing a Spanish translation. So the code for that would be ES and push enter. Inside the ES folder, we have two files which contain the strings for translation. So we'll double click on each one. Double clicking is important because it keeps this tab open. So double click on portal. And now we have two files ready to be translated. And all you have to do here is go through each string, each English string, and in the quotes beside it, add your translated equivalent. So um, I don't speak Spanish, unfortunately, so this is a terrible demo. But uh, let's say the translation of all the best is hola. We'll put that in. And we go through each string, adding translation for whatever the equivalent phrase is. Now, when you see curly brackets like this, site title, it's important to keep those the same. So in this case, you would write your translated string, but you would keep site title in there the same. And what Ghost will do is replace dynamic strings like this with the actual name of the site. So it's incorporated into the string. 
Um, now, occasionally you might get to a string as you're going through these, and you might think, well, how I translate that depends a bit on the context. See you soon. Where does that show up in the app? At what point is the unit user seeing that message? You kind of need to know in order to be able to do a good translation. And for any time you hit a string where you're not totally sure what the context is, we've got this extra file down here just before, below the locales folder is another file called context.json. So if we double click on that, we'll get a new tab. I'll just move it to the end here. And let's see, see you soon is the key. So that's the string we're looking to translate. So if we copy that, command C, and then inside the context.json, we press command F and paste it. It will look up that string and you can see what the context is for where this is being used inside Ghost. So in this case, it's a sign off or an ending to a sign up email. Cool, that's helpful. So now we can go back and with that in mind, add a translation. So the only thing you need to do to translate is to go through these two files, ghost.json, portal.json, and fill in all of the blanks. Don't worry too much about if there's one you're not totally sure about. Um, better to fill in something than to fill in nothing. Someone else can always come in later and add improvements or change suggestions if they think that there might be a slightly better translation than the one you've come up with. So go through it quickly and uh, be confident in the things you do. Once you've finished making your translations in these files, the next thing you'll do is come over to this little icon on the left hand side and it should have a number two on it to indicate that you've changed two files and you can see which ones they are, ghost.json and portal.json inside the ES folder. And we're gonna write a commit message, which is a message that goes along with saving the files and that should take the format added, uh, in this case, Spanish locale for portal. Now you don't need this little window, so we'll just push the X. And once you've put in your message and you've just got two files here, push, commit, and push. So all the changes that we've made have now been saved. Next thing we'll do is hit the burger menu, go to repository, and we're back where we started. So you'll see this little message saying, this branch is one commit ahead of TriGhost main, which means we have new changes that we want to get into the main Ghost repository. So to do that, we're gonna open a pull request. So we forked um, this repository from here. So we're gonna go back to the main Ghost repository. We'll click on the pull request tab, new pull request, and then we're gonna compare changes across forks, which means across two different copies. We'll change the second um, set of dropdowns here to Ghost Translator Ghost. That's my GitHub username. So your GitHub username will be here. And now you can see the same changes we made being previewed. Cool. So we'll hit create pull request. It's imported the same message we wrote just a minute ago as the title. And we can replace this template with any notes that we have about the translation. So I think this is complete, but my Spanish isn't great. Could maybe use a second pair of eyes. And then we'll hit create pull request. Cool, so that's now done. Got an open pull request on the Ghost repository. We can see the commits and the files that were changed. So there's the changes we made. And that's all there, all you have to do. Once you've done that, the Ghost team can review your changes, get them merged. And if any other translators who speak the same language want to contribute, they can review, maybe update, or suggest improvements.